Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Science of Life and this is Preeti, your science mentor. Students, today we are going to study a very important part of our body that is blood. Yes, blood is very very important in our body. Yes, whenever you get injury, the red liquid comes out of your body is blood. Now what is blood? Blood is actually a connective liquid tissue which flows and floats in the pipelines that are called as blood vessels throughout all your body. Now, question is that why it is called connective tissue? It is called connective tissue because it connects all the body cells with each other with the pipelines. That's why it is called as connective tissue. Now, is this red liquid important for us? Yes, it is very much important for us. So let's come to the functions of the blood. The most important function of the blood is to transport oxygen to all the body cells and remove carbon dioxide from the body cells. And this is very, very important. As we all know, without oxygen, we cannot survive. And how this oxygen reaches to all the body cells? by the blood donor. Second function is blood transport all the nutrients and hormones to all the body cells. Whatever we eat, all the digested food mixes into blood and reaches to the body cells because body cells need energy for growth and everything and that energy is being given by the blood only because blood supplies that. Bloods are the transport system of our body. It transports everything throughout our body. So it is very important. Now, the third function of the blood is that they protect us against infections that is WBC. White blood cells of the blood protect us against the infections. And next is blood help us to regulate the body temperature. It help us to maintain our body temperature. Last but not least is that Blood brings all the waste from the body and give it to kidney for filtration. Blood is just like a transport system. It, it transports all the things throughout our body. So it is very, very important. Now, if this liquid is very important, so we should know the composition of blood means what is present in blood actually. So, look at the screen. You can see the composition of blood. It is composed of RBC, WBC, platelets as well as plasma. Now we will study them one by one. So the first one is RBC. The full form of RBC is red blood cells. Now the name itself tells us that it is red in color. So what is present in RBC? Hemoglobin is present in RBC which provides red color to the blood. So now you are aware that why the color of blood is red because of red color pigment that is hemoglobin. Now, what is the function of this hemoglobin and RBC? Actually, this hemoglobin binds with oxygen and transport to all the body cells. And we all know oxygen is very important for us. So, RBC is also very important. Now, coming to the second that is WBC, white blood cells. White blood cells do not have any hemoglobin so their color is white or we can say they are colorless, they are not having any color. Now function of WBC is that they protect us against infections, against diseases. So obviously it is also very important. Now coming to the third category that is platelets. Platelets generally helps in clotting of the blood. Whenever we people get any injury, any wounds, then blood comes out. Now for stopping that blood from flowing, for clotting the blood, Platelets are there. Platelets clot the blood. Suppose if platelets are not there, then what will happen? Our body will lose lots of blood. So basically it is very important. Now coming to the last but not the least category that is plasma. Plasma is actually the liquid portion of the blood which transports all the nutrients and hormones throughout our body. So basically all these cells combinedly form the blood and they help in all the functioning, transporting nutrients, hormones, oxygen, regulates body temperature, everything. 
so combinedly they protect us from diseases also as well so blood is very very important so my dear students now i hope it is clear to you that blood is a transport system which is very important for transporting all the substances so if you are having any doubt then you can ask me in the commenting box till then be safe keep learning